Is this autofocus? And action. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jay. Jay. Mm. Jay. What? We got work to do. Yeah, I'm playing World of Warships. Yeah. World of Warships is the free-to-play naval strategy game where you command the most iconic and famous warships from World War I and World War II recreated with stunning detail and accuracy. Build your fleet while participating in various game types while upgrading your ship's arsenal along the way. New players who sign up using my link below will receive an exclusive starter pack to get you up and running quickly by receiving 7 days premium time, 1 million credits, 300 doubloons, and the tier 5 premium ship, the Exeter. So what are you guys waiting for? Start sinking ships with World of Warships by heading to the description below and getting your freebies. First yeah, time yeah. Jay holds a camera in like years, he almost drops it. <laughs> uh, we are prepping for a super secret event thingy. It's not that secret. Yeah, it's not that secret. AMD's We're going to Vegas, secret. but not for SEMA. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. We're going to Vegas for AMD thing, so I need an editing computer. So we chose, this is the origin. Um, what was it, the Evo 15 or 17? 17S, I think. Yeah. So the problem with editing on a laptop is the fact that you have one 17 inch screen. And even though Phil only has a single panel over there, he has a 34 inch ultra wide. And this isn't that comfortable when you're just, you know, <laughs> like this, so. Yeah. So we, we got something for you to Yeah, I heard you had a gift that. for me. And yeah, it's not the clip-on craps that we showed before. Hopefully this not craps, those are pretty cool monitors though, but. Would you rather use those? I mean... Or you do not know yet, because you need well, to see the, the gift first. I don't know yet, because I gotta see the gift first. <laughs> Nick, go get that box. And yes, Nick relaxing in his chair is about what he does all day. <laughs> we got you work. birds. Dude, I always wanted three birds. <laughs> see With the one stone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ViewSonic VX... Give my knife, it's in the top drawer. It's the ViewSonic VX1755. Uh, so it is a 17 inch external display. Do not give to babies. Aw, oh, man. No, it says do not let babies be astronaut with it. So don't do this. This, <laughs> this is literally like a, a iPad cover ripoff. Oh, it's metal. Feel that. Ooh, it's just all blown out. Every it's fancy. <laughs> so blown. That's actually really, holy crap. It's like literally we just Dude, cloned this. I know, right? There's multiple ports on the side too. Check it out. Because it's also a hub. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there's the kickstand, so that's pretty cool. So you got power, power in, power in type speed and micro HDMI. Let's just try USB-C first. Yeah, just one cable. Yeah. Mm. Power button. There's a light. There we go. Okay, so we're getting power over it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> the viewing angles are pretty good. Usually, yeah, that's gotta be IPS. You logged to 144. No way. Yeah, it just went 144. So you got 144 of USB-C connected to the iris, which means the 3080 Ti would be unaffected by that panel being plugged into it if you were using it for streaming and stuff. Holy crap, this is a 144 hertz panel. So I had, 144 I, over USB-C. It's 1080p, 144. Perfect. Dude, right. oh, what, over one single, like this is the crazy you would, thing. You would, not that, want, you would not want a 1440, 17 inch panel, in my opinion. Yeah. Like 17 and 1080p are perfectly fine. Mm, I mean, I disagree. But, because that's a 1440. I agree like with that. the fact that we don't agree with each other. Okay. <laughs> we, can, we can work with that. Dude, this is insane, man. The fact that it's one single cable to the laptop. Okay, yeah. This this seems like a ViewSonic sponsored video. Now I know. <laughs> they were working on a different video with ViewSonic and they were like, hey, if you find any use for this. Sick, I got the biggest iPad ever. The thing that doesn't come across on camera is that it's super light. Yeah, especially for me, me metal construction. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah, and then so then the fact that it's also the same size as your laptop means it can go right in the backpack with it. Like that. Dude, it is actually it's almost barely thicker. <laughs> <laughs> this one has the AMD uh, desktop processor. It's a 5800X or something in there, right? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and get your software and stuff loaded up, kind of get your workspace figured out. Let's figure out peripherals. That way they can see your exact mobile yeah, editing like what station. what I would do for an editing yeah. station. Yeah, we'll, okay. co we'll come back. Updates. So I'm going to be using this Crucial X6 4TB portable SSD as a backup drive 
but its current job is to copy all my assets from my editing rig to this computer, and that's why I love these drives. 300, I've seen up to 400, 450 megabytes a second. And we're going to add another drive to it because we need all the space. It's only a one terabyte drive in there, so having the footage you're editing on a second drive or a scratch drive separate from the actual OS in, or the uh, install of Adobe tends to speed up the uh, access to that footage a little bit. Could just be placebo, but it's just good practice. So we'll be adding another drive in this video. All right, so Phil's over here installing necessary software for work like Adobe. Rocket League, but uh, League games. Check this out. So like a lot of people don't know this, but you can install multiple games in one go. You're control clicking? Yeah, I hold control, right click, install, selected. Because, you know, work. Yeah, work. Elite Dangerous is a lot of work, man. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> mine those mats. All right, so this is Phil's setup right here. Uh, why don't you kind of walk us through it? Because, you know- you're Oh, like, I didn't hear you there. <laughs> yeah, you did, they're open back, you <laughs> <know>. liar. <laughs> so I'm gonna be rocking the Sennheiser HD6 XXs for headphones because these headphones are awesome. What, you don't want to remaster or, or master off of laptop speakers oh or or monitor speakers? <laughs> There's actually speakers in this. We didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, in the monitor, but they're not as loud as laptop ones, which is weird. And then I'm using the Asus Tough Gaming Mouse wireless with its own 2.4 gigahertz dongle, so no lag, no Bluetooth crap. This <clears throat> extra 16 by nine monitor gives me even more room to the side, so I have all my footage right here. Got the preview monitor, my like text assets and stuff, and then effects over here. So that's what you were using the external drive for, is just to transfer assets from your main rig, right? Yep. And then this is an old, this is old Jay's personal rig that isn't. It was never. House. It was yeah. never personal. <laughs> but I figured I'd throw a project on there that would be hard to hard to run just to see how this uh this thing's got a 12900H and a 3080 Ti laptop GPU and. I mean, it's handling this like montage with all these effects and everything going on perfectly fine. This is raw 4K footage from the MS5. So yeah, I mean, it's it can just... definitely handle what we will be using it for on this trip. Oh, and don't forget the uh, the J2Sense gaming mat. That's no mobile editing station is complete without a J2Sense gaming mat. You can get yours at the link that right under the video. All right, that's one other thing we're missing. We're gonna go ahead and throw another drive in this laptop real quick, and then uh, that'll be it. Cause this only has a one terabyte. I, look, I've already filled it halfway. <laughs> I just put two projects and some assets on there, so. One terabyte doesn't go very far these days. Not not editing, And no. then my my uh, Voyager over there, the Origin, uh, or the, the Corsair Voyager Origin Edition has a four terabyte <laughs> NVMe in there. That's cheating, Corsair <laughs> makes SSDs. <laughs> All right, Jay, this thing's basically ready for an upgrade. Which, uh, which drive do you want to use? You will never run out of space again because we have all these crucial drives. I don't think that's going to fit. We'll make it fit. We have a Dremel. Brands take note. This is how you sponsor. Film montage. <laughs> Do something extreme. So we just threw in a one terabyte because we didn't need any more than that for footage and stuff. It's so empty to look. They could put something there. Yeah, didn't we say that in our review? I was like, bruh. Is the battery 99 Add more whatever? battery. No, it's rated for 88. What, see, they could have they could have fit another. Yeah, this is your other 22, I mean, min 12 <laughs> watt hours. This or put the battery in the that. middle and then make these speakers like gangsta. I wanted to make sure it was. Now you get your finger oils on it, it's not gonna conduct better. Oh. <laughs> the drive's gonna be slower. This thing doesn't snap, huh? It just, no, it just, it just stays there. I think so. Oh my god. And we're good. Ooh, this one has one more gigabyte, dude. Ooh. Now kind of simulate a teardown now. You're done editing, you're done with your work. I just love the one USB-C cable. Mm -hmm. That's that we were thinking that was going to require the power brick no matter what. Because it has a power, it has a USB-C port on the side that's labeled power. So we thought it needed it, but. Well, and and uh, ViewSonic told us like, yeah, it uses a power brick, but they didn't tell us it didn't require the power brick. Weirdly enough, in the OSD, there's like a battery icon. <laughs> and I thought it had a battery, but it didn't. So I don't know. Maybe they sell one with a battery. 
<laughs> Could you see the iris zooming in? <laughs> oh, what was he doing? You were talking and he was just looking all like sus over there. Like sad? No, it was sus. Oh, sus. Now, did you do you feel gimped on this rig? Performance wise, no, not at all. <laughs> just real estate wise? Like slightly. Because I mean, uh, you're very used to your mechanical keyboard, you know, and your comfy chair and your footrest. But and... I'm also, I've also done like seven years of editing on a MacBook Pro. So like, I'm totally, you know, it, like, Using a laptop keyboard is not a problem for me ever. Yeah, I have a 10 QS at home, so I'm no stranger to smaller keyboards and stuff. So yeah, dude, Sweet. this is a dope setup. Yeah, I have a feeling that's gonna stick around. Like you could even set that on your desk. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, just have, have a second there. monitor, yeah. yeah. So, all right. Now it's time for us to get this video edited and up online because we are gonna be heading to Vegas tomorrow and uh, seeing what AMD has to offer and what kind of fight they're gonna bring to NVIDIA. And AMD has a heck of an advantage here because the 4090's been out for a month and they can now really give us some, what are you doing over there? Oh, you're sponsoring this video? I was video? just doing this in the But background. ViaSonic didn't sponsor this video. It oh. was brought to you by World of Warships. Don't forget, get your World of Warships first stuff down below. <laughs>